So this whole think you're thinking, strategically speaking, after reading the Quran changed because you ha you're enlightened, so to speak, of at least what the Quran teaches. Well, and you know, I'd love to say that I just kind of, uh, you know, I, I listened to your story, and this, yours was kind of a, a, a self-discovery story. Right. Mine wasn't really a self-discovery story. Mine was uh, a guy set me down and said, you're just wrong. <laughs> Think about it. Okay. You know, I mean, it was. I mean, I just, he just set me down and goes, you really have the wrong idea of mm -hmm. what this is. And, 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 and he challenged me on it. Now, it worked on me. I sat down and said, okay, I'll read it. Let's sit down and look at it. Mm -hmm. And I, then I started trying to read it with a fair-minded approach rather than let's see if I can pick this thing apart. I started reading it with the idea of, okay, what did he really mean here? Uh, uh, is this reconcilable with what I believe? And, um, and, I, and I just don't think we have, most of us have given that a fair shot. So what are the, in your opinion, what are the, 90%, tell us some of the 90% of the Quran that's similar in your view to the Gospels that might surprise some, some people listening. Well, uh, obviously, the key one is monotheism. Mm -hmm. the, the Christian faith is first and foremost a monotheistic faith. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. That, 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 is, that, is, that is the core foundation of our faith. That Jesus Christ is the Messiah. When, when you sit down and talk with with uh, a Muslim uh, about Jesus being the Messiah, they do not argue with you about Jesus being the Messiah. As a matter of fact, uh, oftentimes, if you sit down and talk with them and say, well, now, you know, uh, the Jewish people do not believe that Jesus is the Messiah. They're shocked. They're going, hmm. they're, they go, are you kidding me? Why, why, do, why don't they understand that Jesus is the Messiah? There, there are just... Uh, they believe that Jesus Christ is coming back again. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there, there, there are lots of... Coming back in judgment. Yes, day, right? yeah. And, and there's lots of uh, deeply enfolding truths mm -hmm. that we just haven't been willing to or taken time to really what, Okay, so that's a, what, what do you think the things that are still haven't been fully bridged in your mind with the Quran and the Bible? What is there work left to do or research left to find common ground in certain areas that we that perhaps we haven't found it yet? Uh, you know, um, I have a number of really good friends who are Muslim followers of Jesus who I believe are every bit as born again as I am. Mm -hmm. uh, they do not see anything there that is irreconcilable. Mm -hmm. I'm not an expert on the Quran. Uh, I, obviously, I do not read Arabic, don't understand Arabic, and would not promote myself as someone who really understands or even feels it's primarily my job to reconcile those things. Hmm. Uh, what I do believe that um, that someone can be a fully devoted, born-again follower of Jesus and, and, and be fully culturally hmm. uh, identified as a Muslim and live in that culture. I believe that fully in my heart. And I, it really wouldn't even matter if I believed it or not because the fact is they're out there. And so, they're already doing it. Yeah, so I mean you can argue all you want about That's a good point. Is, uh, can this be, but there is. It's kind of like in, in Acts when, the, when the, the Jewish believers didn't think that Gentiles could be truly uh, followers of Christ without becoming Jewish first. But the problem is that there already been a revival break loose. Mm -hmm. And here's all these Gentiles down in Antioch that had already come to faith, and they're up there debating whether it's possible. Well, it's just a little too late. <laughs> it's already happened. Uh -huh. So when, when you're thinking about the, uh, the Quran and you're, and you're looking at the Bible, have you ever sat down to sort of compare the two? Is that what, or have you been doing that sort of all along in your mind? Uh, you know, I have, but, you know, the Quran is not really my book. Uh, the right. Bible is my book. Right. Uh, and I, I, I just don't, don't even claim to be an expert on the Quran. Okay. You know, Fair I, enough. You know, I, I do believe that it is a great piece of literature that can lead people to Jesus. Okay, well, that's helpful. You know, one thing that's interesting, uh, Islamic culture... When I study the culture and what it says that their faith believes versus what, at least from this 
person's reading of the Quran, I see a lot of differences. For example, Jesus is argued in the Islamic culture as just another prophet. Right. He's no different. He's a prophet, no different than Muhammad, Moses, Abraham, uh, Noah, and the rest. But when you ask them, but, but how many were the Messiah? They say, well, just Jesus. How many were supernaturally conceived by the Holy Spirit? They go, just Jesus. How many were conceived by a virgin named Mary? Well, just Jesus. How many were born sinless? Well, just Jesus. And we can go on, as you know, for right. 10 or 15 minutes with these examples. And after a while, it makes the point pretty obvious to the friend we're talking with. Well, yes, you're, then they say, yes, he's unique. Well, why doesn't the culture teach he's unique? And I think one of the reasons probably would be history, mm -hmm. you know, crusades and other things that have put a certain uh, uh, inculcative uh, mentality uh, against, especially the crucifixion and Jesus being anything other than another prophet for fear if they go in that territory, then they have to become Christians in order to accept these things. So, well, my question is, when you see the cultural differences, say, on the Christian side, so I felt deceived, you know, in strategy, mm -hmm. that I was told all my life that the Quran was of the devil, which is opinion of many Christians, and I need to convert Muslims to the Christian religion. But then studying the Gospels, Jesus never talked about religion, no, not once. No, he did, but it was always the problem. Yeah, oh yeah, you, re you religious scribes and Pharisees, uh -huh. you're hypocrites. But he ne let's say then, let me rephrase that. I'll, cr I'll stand corrected by my pastor here. He, he certainly didn't promote a new religion of no. any kind called whatever, Christianity or other, otherwise. So why are we taught in our culture to convert someone to something that Jesus never taught or talked about? Well, that's a big uh, hmm. can of worms, but it basically is because we have um, missed the message of Jesus, which is the kingdom of God.